Hi and welcome to Linux and Windows Help. This is episode four. We're going to become we're going to be covering uh, VNC servers and clients. Uh, first up, I got, I got the um, we're going to be using the virtual machine this time, which is not a really good idea to be doing virtual machines with uh, VNC. If you've ever like been between two mirrors, like a mirror in front of you, a mirror in back of you, you, you know. You, go into a parallel universe you can see for miles through like uh, reflecting off of each mirror over and over again well that's pretty much what this will do you can also install um, you know a virtual uh, you can also install a, a VNC server and a VNC client in uh, Windows and stuff you can use Windows as well we're using Linux uh, for this so anyways go ahead and launch your, uh, your terminal and both the uh, virtual machine or if you got you know two network computers together, it'll be the same. Just go ahead and launch them both. Oh, before I before I start with this, uh, before you launch your virtual machine, uh, see where it says network. You're gonna whenever you um, first install a virtual box. I don't know how it is on VMware, but whenever you install virtual box, it comes default as NAT. You don't want that. The, com the computers won't communicate together. The virtual machine and the computer won't communicate, right? You want to go to Bridge Adapter. You want to make sure that one's selected right there. And then OK. Before you even boot your, before you boot it. And you, you're probably going to want to keep it like that most of the time because your computers will communicate better and everything. So you just want to keep it like that, probably. Unless you want that, uh, the, the other thing. Anyways, uh, well, within that, you basically can go to websites, and that's about it. Uh, computers don't communicate, and you won't be able to run servers and clients. Anyways, uh, I already got it installed, but you want to install, install client. You want to install a client on the machine that you want to use. We're going to be using this uh, vinegary. Did I spell it wrong? Sure did. Vinegary. V I N E G R E. I already got it installed, so see that's how it says it's uh, already the newest version. So that one's done. Now we want to install the client. I mean, install the server on the uh, computer you want to control. So we're going to be uh, controlling uh, this one. I'm going to put the server in this end. Uh, if you're using uh, Ubuntu and Linux Mint, more than likely this is already installed. You want to install Vino. Sudo app get install Vino. And hit enter and install that. After that's installed, it'll come into your preferences and desktop sharing. But like I said, it's already installed. You want to uh, click that, allow other users to view your desktop, allow other users to control your desktop. Uh, I would just leave that off. It's annoying. Require the user to enter a password. That's a good thing to do. So let's type a password and remember it. And close. So now the server and the client is uh, good. To get the IP address, you type if config on both machines. And that'll get your local IP address. But I already got that right here. That way I don't have to screw around with that. <clears throat> but to test to see if everything works, see how this is the virtual machine right here. So you want to type the uh, main computer's IP address or wherever the server is at. And you notice that the uh, it's communicating. If you was using that NAT thing, then you wouldn't be getting that right now. Go ahead and hit Control C. You'll see 0% packet loss. 
You can do the same on the uh, on the main machine too. You can uh, load this and ping. It's ninety. Yep. One nine two. One six eight. Point one point ninety. And that is pinging your virtual machine. So you know that everything's communicating good. Control C again. Zero percent packet loss. That's what you want. Perfect. So now we're going to load the client that we installed. The server's already running. You already got it set up. So you just type. Let me make sure I spelled this time right. Vanagree. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I got it spelled right. That's the important part. Vanagree. Vinegree. Viagra. Yeah, Viagra. So you load it. And you hit connect. And protocol, you don't want the secure shell, you want to use VNC. Now, if you just connect it to a, uh, a secure shell, that's what you would use. But now we're going to be connected to a VNC server, so you want to put that. And then you type your main address or wherever the um, server is located at. So if you follow the detail, you know, you follow this tutorial to the T. It would be your main computer's IP address. You can put full screen. There's a few options. Like I said, warning. When I go into this, it's going to be all screwy because it's going to load a desktop on a desktop on a desktop on a desktop. Now, if you was connecting from another computer, or you know, or you can even connect with your um, your tablet or your phone. They got VNC uh, clients on the uh, tablets and your smartphones as well. So you can control your desktop with your smartphone from across the country if you want. If you got it set up right. So we're going to go ahead and connect. This is just a demonstration. Like I said, uh, here we go. Ask for your password. So put the password that you, uh, you typed for the server. Enter. Now we're loaded. See how it's loading. <laughs> I'm gonna go and pull it down here so it's easier to control, so you can see it. You notice it's uh, it's pretty spot on. There's a little lag sometimes. It's probably just my computer. Like, you know, I've got enough. Um, I only put 34 megabytes of uh, video on this on this uh, virtual machine. That could be a reason too. Load it up again. See, now it's just it's a copy on a copy on a copy on a copy. I'm like looking through a mirror hundred times. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, this is a VNC server and client. I said you can connect with your uh, cell phone. You connect with your tablet. You can connect in the other room. You can connect across the country. If the network is set up right, you can connect from the moon if you want to. It'll just be a little bit of Latin C prop. That's it, that's VNC server and client. You put the server on the uh, computer that you want to control, and you connect with the client from the uh, computer or device that you want to control the computer with. And the other computer don't even have to have a monitor or nothing. You could just be a desktop computer with an internet connection and be on, and you can control that computer from wherever you want. It doesn't have to have a monitor on at all. So. The good thing about this is, like, if you run a network, say you have a hundred computers, a hundred computer network, you can log into each desktop from one computer. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to like walk over to each computer and do something. You just log into it. While the other people are still using the computer, you can just take over for a minute. You can even talk to them. You know, you can just right-click on here, create document. Empty file. Go ahead and load it. And you'll be like, Hi, Bob. I am going to be doing maintenance work on your system today. So you can talk to them. And they'll be like, 
Okay, he's hacking my computer now. What are you doing? What are you doing to me? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm drinking beer right now, so I'm not uh, completely 100% sane right now. So I'm, I'm drinking some bush light. It's a man's beer right there. You might not like it, but I do. I don't want to see that. Anyway, that's uh, the end of this episode. I'm going to go and shut down this uh, virtual machine. Please. That too. Please uh, share this video, like it, join the group, join the page, send me a million dollars, I don't know if that ever work again, that'd be nice. Alrighty, the video is now over, thank you for watching.